we are discussing how to teach punctuation so we'll continue uh, discussing some of the strategies we can incorporate as language teachers in our classrooms for instance as we discussed in the previous module that we can especially start teaching punctuation at elementary level so remember that um, we cannot ignore the significance of punctuation because a poorly written work can leave bad impression negative impression upon the uh, readers so we can uh, make our students uh, read uh, uh, shorter texts or longer texts and work out how punctuation is used by skillful writers and then we can make them um, uh, study a collection of words and make them identify uh, how capital letters are written why they are written and what what are the reasons actually they need to work out figure out the reasons the rationale behind using small letters and capital letters right and where comes uh, brackets or full stops or colons or apostrophe right if you look at this activity for instance that can be very useful at ele at elementary level uh, you can if you look at carefully look at this at this slide uh, you can use see that some of the words are starting with capital letters and some are starting with small letters so we can ask our students and similarly we can show them a passage con containing the proper use of capital letters and bad use of capital letters. this is how we can bring in different strategies and then um, teaching punctuation uh, can be an interesting area and um, we can make it in the classroom like in the form of pairs or groups or through collaboration so at best what we can do as uh, as teachers is to explain some of the conventions once the conventions are explained then we can ask them to write uh, to punctuate a text which could be unknown uh, which could be unseen uh, as you can see on this slide there is a, a passage a short passage they arrived in cambridge at 1 a.m it was cold andrew ran to the water's edge angela hurried up to keep up with him so we can make our students notice how letters are used small and capital why they are not used why the full stop is not used what if um, what compromises actually the meaning if we don't have punctuation so this is how uh, these are the norms of writing which we can incorporate in our teaching similarly we can expose them to some of the dialogues and the reported speech or inverted commas and then make them work like how uh, how do we show that someone is speaking and how the, with the help of inverted commas or commas or uh, full stops we can show that someone is speaking and how someone finishes and where does the comma go and where, where we put the exclamation mark so teaching punctuation is a messy uh, business but we can make our students learn punctuation through constant reading through making them aware of the significance of punctuation by noticing bad examples and by remembering good examples